Hi, everyone. Hi everyone. Tonight we are on our way down to the garden for tonight's dinner. So many of you like the garden fresh grilling recipe video we did a couple of weeks ago and asked for more. Everyone wants a quick and easy way to prepare your own veggies. Got a ton of tomatoes and cukes yes. to harvest. Nothing more fresh and local than your own garden grocery store. You asked for it. You got it. So much fun when the garden gives back. We've nurtured our vegetables all summer long. Yep. This is why we do it. So we can grow our own food and share it with those that we love. This is going to be good. Oh my goodness, these are gorgeous. Aren't they beautiful? There's <laughs> lots and lots of tomatoes and cucumbers in the garden right now. On the menu for tonight is tomato cucumber salad. Nothing is fresher and more delicious than a tomato right off the vine. Look at this thing. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm going to go grab the tomatoes around the back. Okay. Tomatoes are just beautiful. They're they massive are. tomatoes. Now, I did get my tags mixed up earlier in the season, but I'm fairly certain this is the Megadom tomato, which was sent to me by Cliff, our live stream moderator. Hey, Cliff. This is beautiful. And these, I'm fairly certain, are, I think this one, are the Domingo variety. Would you wow. look at that? That's got to be at least a one pounder, if not more. So let me grab these other ones, and we've got some other beautiful ones right up the hill. Oh, y'all, this is going to be good. These baskets are getting heavy already, and we still have more tomatoes to harvest. Yeah, that was getting heavy, actually, but I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> we've got chocolate stripes right here. These are Man. also massive. I love so how they're climbing up this trellis. You can get the ones right. on the bottom, Jerry? Yes. All right. Oh, look at this one. The cool thing is I planted all of these from seed. I've been keeping an eye on them all summer long, just waiting for this moment. Some massive, massive tomatoes here. But one of my favorites is the Tiny Tim, little cherry tomatoes. Small dwarf tomato only gets about two feet tall. And these tomatoes are just so prolific and so delicious in salads. And you gotta love the sun golds. These are like eating candy. Got a really nice golden jubilee here. Ooh, pretty. Okay, on to the mar marglobes. Plants looking a little beat up, but it's still pumping out the harvest. Now for our tomato cucumber salad, we gotta have some cucumbers too. And here is a really, really nice one. The zinnias and the dahlias are just incredible. You can't beat a good lemon cucumber in a market more. You got all those behind you there, Jerry? Yes, I'll oh, handle these. Great. Oh, nice. Yes. So much fun. No one, we're going to eat this in just a few minutes, too. The lemon cucumbers don't taste like lemons, but they sure are pretty. This one does, right? Yes. Make a quick stop here at the herb garden to grab some basil and some chives for our salad. I'll get the chives. All right, I'll grab the basil. We got purple and Italian. Mm. Garden to table. It doesn't get any fresher than this. We're going to wash up our veggies and come on back and make the salad. We're going to chop up the veggies and put it all together. For those of you who are watching for the first time, I want to say you're in the right place at the right time. You got to grow your own food. There's just nothing better. The rewards of growing your own food go far beyond the tasty veggies. It's just mentally refreshing. It's so fun to share it with people, your friends and your neighbors. And there's also just that satisfaction that you hear gardeners talk about all the time of, yeah, I, I grew that, I took care of it, and now it gives back by harvest. So that's neat too. We're actually gonna make this cucumber tomato salad with a couple of different variations. But the basics are first, just chop up the cukes, chop up the tomatoes, and season it up. All the different colors of tomatoes, the cucumbers, the lemon cuke, just beautiful. Gotta add the fresh herbs for that punch of flavor. Oh, nothing like garden fresh herbs. That's the color and the flavor. It's the purple basil. And I'm gonna actually add a lemon from our very own lemon tree to flavor it. This can't beat garden fresh. Keep it simple. Homegrown lemons have so much more juice than store-bought, it's crazy. If you are enjoying this video, please make sure you say so in the comments. Let us know what you liked about it. Let us know if you are going to start doing this as well, or if you're already doing this. 
Now I keep it pretty simple with the seasonings. Trader Joe's has some amazing spices and they're really inexpensive, but I always start with the sea salt. I love this stuff. A couple pinches is all you need. Gotta have the oh, fresh ground pepper, of course. This looks so good. This has to be fresh ground. The flavor just kicks it up a notch with that. I love the chili lime seasoning from Trader Joe's. But season it to, to taste. Season it how you like it. That's the beauty of it. Onion salt. 21 seasoning salute. See, I don't measure anything here. <laughs> I love this one. It's a creamy buttermilk arancha dressing seasoning. And a couple little splashes of olive oil. We keep it simple. Stir it all up. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> I feel like we're a broken record on this video, but <laughs> it looks incredible every step of the way. And it smells amazing. Mm -hmm. This is where the fun part comes in. We're gonna customize our cucumber tomato salad just a little bit. So do it however you want, whichever way you like the best. I've got three different little dishes here. But what I'm gonna do is add some protein so it can be a nice dinner salad. Hmm. This is some white beans, which if you're a vegan or a vegetarian, you can add this to the mix. Nice. The white beans. Now Jerry tends to like a little bit more meat to his salad, so I put some chicken in here for him. And we just grilled this up last night. So I just kind of dug through the fridge, found some leftovers. Oh, it does not look good. The grilled chicken will add a really nice little tasty treat. And then, these are some jalapeno peppers. Ooh. Fresh from the oh. garden. So if you want to kick it up a notch, oh. you can add a spoonful of those. I'll I'm pass. actually going to add mine to my white beans, because I love the white beans with the jalapenos. Another little kick it up a notch here is some grilled eggplant. We just did this last night as well. So just find whatever you have in the garden, add it to your salad, and make it your own. You've got to be hungry watching this video. I've been starving since we started. Yeah, it's looking good. It is looking really Give good. it a little stir, and then we are almost ready for the taste test. Which one are you going to try? I'm going to step it up. I normally stay away from the hot stuff. I'm going to try this jalapeno and eggplant. Oh, you're going to like it. Actually, the jalapenos are very mild. I'm going to try the white bean with the eggplant, the jalapenos. Mm. Oh my gosh. Here I go. Mmm. Yeah, Those homegrown tomatoes, man, you just can't beat that. Not bad. So good. It's not getting amazing. Hot, not getting a big kick or anything, so. I'll try the chicken one too. It's too. great. Mmm. Mm. There's nothing like the satisfaction of saying, I grew this and now I'm eating it. <laughs> so comment below if you're gonna make this fresh garden to table cucumber tomato salad. The flavor is out of this world. And let us know if you'd like to see more videos like this. It's been a ton of fun, Jerry. Mm-hmm, it has been. <laughs> Head over to CaliKimGardenAndHome.com and get 20% off on my seed collections, fabric containers, and signed books with the code GARDENFRESH for this weekend and free lettuce seeds with your purchase. Thanks so much for watching. Yep. We'll see, see you on the, on the next, next video. video.